What's up YouTube, my name is Ruff and today I wanna to go over a way to organize your sample library to speed up your workflow. So I do wanna preface this video by saying this method of organization may not work for everybody. This is just what I like to do to organize my samples. So diving into Ableton, you'll see I have this folder called Samples 2022, and I have ARP loops, atmosphere, bass, brass, horn, string, wind, drums, effects, guitar, MIDI, piano, synth, song starters, vocal, and a sidechain sample. So basically the essence of what I decided to do when I was like, I'm gonna organize my sample library very efficiently to speed up future workflow, is I sat down, went through all my different sample packs I had, just like a hodgepodge, and was like, what are some groups I could break them down into? And then within those groups, what are some subgroups? So taking drums, for example, you can see the list here, 808s, build up drums, etc. But then I took it a, even a step further. For example, if we go to the claps, clap loops, drop clap loops, or like a groove clap loop, like something like this. And then if we go into the one shots, you'll see I got my drop claps, huge kick layer, natural pre-shifted and trap. So instead of every time I was looking for that type of sound, I had to go rifle through 50 different clap samples. I know if I need that huge stadium clap, I go to clap one shots, huge claps, and here's all my stadium ones. So in the moment, it's super easy. For example, if I want an acoustic sounding realistic kick, kicks, acoustic kicks, here they are. I want a dubstep snare, I'm gonna go to my snares, dubstep and future bass snares. So it's that easy and that simple. If I want like a white noise downlifter, effects, downlifters and exhaust, white noise, here they are. In the moment when you're producing, it's so, so easy to find exactly what you're looking for. That's great news. The hard part is getting to that point, getting to the finished organized sample pack. How do I get there? I have a million sample packs. I have cashmere, I have Oliver. I have this hodgepodge just scattered on my desktop. How do I organize it? I'm gonna tell you right now. Don't try to tackle it all at once. The way I got my samples to this organized point was I took 30 minutes every single day. I picked a group and I just went at it. So I said, today is my clap day. I'm gonna sit down for 30 minutes. I'm gonna go through all my clap samples. I'm gonna delete the ones I know I'm probably never going to use, take the remaining ones I decided to keep and organize them into subgroups like natural, drop, pre-shifted, trap. And I sat for 30 minutes, did all my claps. The next day, let's do all the snare. So the best way to go about this is to sit down and plan out, okay, on this day, I'm going to do this. On this day, I'm going to do this. Have like the next two to three weeks planned out of which group you're going to attack each day for those two to three weeks. And by the end of it, yeah, it's not fun. After three weeks of consistent, boring, tedious work of 30 minutes to an hour every single day, you're going to look back and be like, wow, like my samples are so organized. This is great. And I promise you, I promise you, it will change the way you produce. I can guarantee you that. And the best part is it's free. There are sample organization like AI things out there. One, they cost money. Two, I guarantee you, they're not going to be able to classify your samples and group them how you want to. You don't have to copy exactly how I name things. Whatever you're gonna name the group so you know what to put in there to get to quickly is gonna set you up for the most success, I promise you. That's all for this video. I hope you learned something. Leave a comment if you have any other questions. I'm gonna catch you next Wednesday at 4 p.m. Peace.